boys. Today, I'm going to be using this build to confuse the survivors with the new perk, Hysteria. If you notice anything about this build, you should realize all four of these perks depend on the survivors being injured. Hysteria will put all of the currently injured survivors into the Oblivious effect when I injure somebody else. As well as this, when I hook anybody, every injured survivor will be exhausted. And for the entire game, you have a 5% action debuff for every survivor that is injured. Without any more delay, I think this build will work together really well, and let's get straight into the games. Okay, we're in on the Father Campbell's Chapel, and actually straight onto her forehead. And almost getting the two type there. Damn, she's weird. Okay, good use of the locker actually from her. Didn't expect her to get to it because she was actually pretty far out. She also has Iron Will. Gonna go for a flick. Perfect. She actually carried on. She carried on holding W, which worked out for me really well. Okay, I know there's a survivor here somewhere. His bang. We got another injury. And she's actually giving me a really easy down here because she hasn't made much distance whatsoever. So I will carry on chasing rather than just going for a tag. Okay, Fang on a hook. And I think there's going to be two survivors over here because this person actually healed. No, we've got another Bane of this build in another med kit. There we go. Another tag off the board. Don't think there is another survivor here, is there? Oh, there is. I did hear it. That means the last survivor is actually over here. So I'm going to go for an injury on all four. Because that would be pretty huge for me. Yep, Fang's right here. Thought I heard somebody working on the gen, but I wasn't sure. So if I get a down here, actually, I'm going to put Hysteria onto two of the survivors. The Nia has just healed. Means I might be able to pick up a free down. Just because they can't hear my terror radius at all. So we're going to try. Yep, there we go. The epitome of not being able to hear my terror radius. Completely free tag on two people there. Even a DC, okay. Didn't think this build was that bad, but now we got a down on the Feng, and we can hook the Feng as well. And now the other two survivors left in the game, both Fangs, are both injured. And I can only assume that they're both on this gen. I doubt this was solo. Damn. It's a little bit too far behind. Here she is. I don't need to worry about a dead hard because... There is no exhaustion because of our blood echo. And because of our hysteria, Fang just runs straight into us as well. Perfect use of hysteria in this game. A hysteria into two tags and a DC and a hysteria into running literally directly into the killer. Okay, so we're in on Dead Dog Saloon. Which I think is actually going to be pretty nasty for this build considering how small the map is. And basically, all we want to do with this build is just get tags. If you haven't already worked it out, Hysteria works when the survivors are injured. Tanatophobia works when the survivors are injured. Blood Echo works when the survivors are injured. And Sloppy Butcher makes it so it takes longer for them to heal, thus enticing them to stay injured. And uh, yeah, all of this added together in one build is actually going to be pretty nasty. My main aim for this build is to get some sort of value. I have no idea where that thing went, actually. Is to get some sort of value out of Hysteria. I want to get a lot of free downs because of it, ideally. Oh, I hear healing already. Okay, another survivor we can get injured. Perfect. I'm gonna chase this survivor as well. Because if I down them, all of the injured survivors currently will go into Hysteria. And they won't be able to hear my terror radius. And when I hook... All of the injured survivors currently will have no exhaustion perks available to them as they'll be exhausted. Here we go. Somebody on this gen as well. This should be another tag for me, hopefully. Actually, yeah, they pre-left. Smart of them. Oh, they're really far gone. Okay. I'll try and go for a prediction, but they should just hold W realistically. Oh, there you are. I knew I could hear her, but I was really... Okay. <laughs> I got messed up by the boxes there. I thought I could get a hit. I would have got a hit, actually. If the boxes weren't there. And I don't get a hit there either, damn. Okay. First hit. I really need to be looking for tags, though. They're not bunching up much, which is pretty smart from them. Nice dead hard, but a little bit too early. They're also healing at every opportunity. 
Okay, they went for a really early save. I didn't have time to get away, but I'll take a tag on this guy if I can get it. Nice passing from him to double back into me. It was a bit of a 50-50 there on what he would do. It's going to take the vault, right? Yeah. Okay, free tag. I don't even need to second blink for that. There should be a down, actually. We've got to remember... Wow, these guys are doing gens quick. Okay, we're going to have to turn up the pressure a little bit. They are just absolutely bombing the altruism. Fair play. I can only assume that this is at least a few survivors working together because they're doing gens incredibly quickly. Okay, another tag. These guys are playing really well, to say the least. They're getting everything right. Aside from the chases, really. Chases have been pretty quick, but everything in terms of gens, spacing, they're doing really well. Not giving me a lot of tags easily, which is exactly what I would want on this build. Okay, she messed up a little bit there, so we get that for free. She actually had dead hard, but she didn't use it. And I'm going to go and hook uh, next to a lot of my generators. Okay, this is perfect, actually. Because both of the uninjured survivors are right here. I'm actually not going to chase that. I'm going to try and go for this guy, because he's over here somewhere. And I know he's... Uninjured, there he is. Okay, they've saved. Flick to there. Nice, perfect. There we go. If I was to guess, they're probably healing back here somewhere because I just... Yep, there we go. I saw them go over this way after they healed. If I down this fang as well, Hysteria is in effect. Nice, she had lied. I should have expected that really, it being a fang. Oh, and again, I can't really see because of the explosion. I don't make that. So I'm just going to go into fatigue. I met one long blink here. Did she double back? She didn't. We should get... I over flicked. No. I was about to say we should get that with a flick. And then I just completely messed up my blink. I think best thing to do here is just make sure they're not going to pop two gens really quickly. You have dead hard. I know you do. She just used it. Perfect. Okay. We actually got two survivors out really quickly. I didn't even realize. I've kind of just been playing for hooks. But normally when the survivors are a little bit more immersed, you do get the bulk of your hooks on one or two of the survivors because the others are hiding. Okay, found you. And luckily for them, actually, I've just realized, I'm not sure how many med kits they had. But they did have med kits. I managed to block her from dropping the pallet there, which is good for me. And yeah... She just got a little bit scared of my red stain. That gave me a free down. And there is the fang. I was just kind of standing on top of the main building to get some kind of view. There she is. Should be able to close this one out now. She must have double backed on herself. Where are you, fang? Oh, she went for the save. Okay. She was in a bush at one point. Perfect. And she's going to go for the save. I will just instantly rehook to give... The Cheryl, some kind of chance at getting the hutch. Oh, here we go. There she is. Okay, I was a little bit confused on where the Cheryl got to. She's probably going to insta-throw that pallet if I do blink, and I would be blinking into the pallet if I let go there, so... Be a little bit careful. Is she in the locker, or did she double back? I can't tell, actually. I oh, she carried on running. She just says I'm well. Sure. Like, Feng actually kobe Fair enough. Didn't play the pallet, either. It shows you the power, though, of just holding... W, or being a little bit unobvious with Iron Will against the nurse blocking line of sight. Actually, really, really strong. And Feng is now injured, so... Or now exhausted, sorry. Oh, and Feng got hatched. Okay, GG's. Pretty happy with that, though. They were doing gems really quick, so... Pretty happy to come out on top. 